Norway's crazy wireless charging roads. Fighter jets have been able to refuel on the go for decades. So why wouldn't our electric cars be able to recharge their batteries while on the road? Well, it turns out they can, thanks to the game-changing wireless charging road system developed by Israeli company Electrayon. As electric vehicles become more and more prominent on our roads and charging capacity more and more of an issue, Norway has come up with a clever broad view solution for its fleet of taxis called Electricity. Norway has implemented a regulation stating that all new vehicles sold after 2025 need to be fully electric to cut down on emissions. With that bold rule in place, there has to at least be some sort of solution for charging. Battery electric vehicles, BEVs, are evolving and gaining popularity at an accelerated pace. While much progress has been made in terms of hardware and infrastructure, recharging still takes significantly more time than refueling an ICE or hydrogen-powered vehicle. Thinking outside of the box, Israeli tech company Electrion has been developing and implementing an innovative solution for this problem. This will save in many ways. No need to hunt out an available charger, no need to wait separately for a charge, and to be hired and no need to even plug in or unplug when a fare arrives all of which saves precious time in which to earn do you think this is the right solution for the planet stay tuned for more details about norway's wireless charging road the system that is set to revolutionize transportation and accelerate the switch to electric mobility uses copper coils fitted under asphalt enabling evs to charge their batteries wirelessly while on the move. Like the technology used by our smart devices, the system needs vehicle-mounted receivers to work. According to the company, this is something that has not been implemented yet as a factory feature by any renowned car maker, but can be easy and cost-effective to add on an existing and future EV model. In terms of logistic, the only inconvenience is that a portion of the asphalt needs to be removed and replaced. Other than that, the system can connect to existing power grids without the need for additional infrastructure or transformation station. It uses management units placed on the sides of the road to communicate with the receivers on the vehicles and transfer energy. This technology's potential is limitless. Apart from the elimination of range anxiety and time-consuming conventional charging, it will make EVs much more efficient, especially those intended for commercial use. Although wireless charging roads are not the entire solution for electric cars, it sure cuts down the need to charge for several hours and will never leave you stranded on the side of the road when you run out. The charging process will take place through a process called induction to facilitate the in-place charging. Charging plates are to be installed under the road where the taxis will park up and a receiver located in each taxi. As part of Norway's goals that new cars are to be zero emission by 2025, all taxis in the Norwegian capital of Oslo must be electrically powered by 2023. One big hurdle standing in the way involves revamping countries' infrastructure to handle the influx of EV taxis. It's too time consuming, for example, for taxi drivers to find a charger plug in and then wait for the car to charge. But a new wireless fast charging project aims to solve this issue and in doing so, reduce climate emissions from the taxi sector. Electric cars can be much greener than their petrol equivalent, but only where care is taken that the electrical sources are better for the environment than the petrol it's replacing. Fortunately, Norway has that covered too, with the country's ever mixing of hydro and wind energy one of the greenest energy supplies in any country in the world, as well as the world's highest rate of electric vehicle ownership. At the heart of the program is a finished clean energy company, Fortum, their charge and drive program. The company is long-time collaborators with Norway's taxi industry, with particular focus on the ease of infrastructure and will be heavily involved in the setup of the earliest part of this. As it is not precisely like the connection of a cable, however, this is relatively simple to set up between a taxi and a static location. So long as the positioning of the vehicle is relatively accurate, something that can be easily achieved through normal parking. Naturally, such a process will be of limited green benefit unless the electricity being supplied to the taxis was already from a green source. This will allow charging at up to 75 kilowatts entirely without cable. Induction charging works through the principle of electromagnetic induction, whereby an electric charge sent through a thick coil of wire is used to generate an electric current. The force in turn 
generates an electric current in the second coil some distance away. The process does require that the device to be charged is relatively near the coil and so the process is sometimes called near field charging. Major car firms like Jaguar and Land Rover are also stepping up to the plate. The very first step is expected to be active in 2023 and will involve the installation of charging stations at the taxi rank outside the main station in capital city Oslo. The process is absolutely slow as digging up the road for installation outside the main stations. It also requires all taxis are set up for charging. The taxis will be able to drive up to the charger and a wireless charging session will automatically start. According to Anika Hofner, the head of the project, this allows the taxis to charge in a place where they would anyway be waiting for new customers. The difference is that they won't be emitting any carbon dioxide while waiting. Instead, they will be receiving renewable energy to charge the taxis. And whilst this is simply an early step, Norway is a logical place to take steps towards wider networks as well as its broadly green approach to energy. The Nordic country has also one of the strongest markets for electric vehicles in the world. Do you see your city with wireless charging roads? How awesome would that be? Let us know your opinion in the comment sections down below and drop us a like and subscribe. We would appreciate that a lot. See ya. Bye.